Hey friends, welcome back to the Tulsa Zoo for this week of Zoo School. Gabby here, and I just want to take a minute to thank our members for liking and sharing our videos. We are very appreciative, and that's why we can do what we do. Why don't you follow me? This week on Zoo School, we're going to... Hey, stop monkeying around. I'm not monkeying around. I'm a chimpanzee, which is a type of great ape. And great apes don't have tails like monkeys do. So Keaton makes a really good point. Primates are a diverse group of mammals. And primates is actually what we're talking about this week on Zoo School. So why don't you follow me to the outdoor chimp habitat? For those of you that have been here to the Tulsa Zoo, you'll notice the chimp habitat behind me. And as Keaton stated earlier, primates are very diverse. And in fact, they're so diverse that they include over 300 species. Those species are split up into groups. We have prosimians, monkeys, and apes. First, let's talk about prosimians. Prosimians are lemurs, bush babies, tarsers, and lorises. And they actually include the only venomous primate, the slow loris, which is pretty cool. This is a rough tail or black and white rough lemur. We actually have these here right at the Tulsa Zoo. And this is a type of prosimian that is endemic to Madagascar. Endemic means they are only found in Madagascar. And this is a biofact of a rough lemur. And as you can remember, biofacts are real or replica parts of animals used for educational purposes. So this lemur, you can tell, has very large eyes, and that's because it's actually nocturnal, which means it's active at night. Another really cool thing about this prosimian is it has canine teeth, and you would think that makes it a carnivore, but it's actually an herbivore. This is a type of monkey. So the second category is our monkeys, and we have new world monkeys, which is what this is, and old world monkeys. Old world monkeys are things like macaques, mandrels, and baboons, as well as Diana monkeys, which we also have here at the Tulsa Zoo. And old world monkeys are native to Africa and Asia, and they lack a prehensile tail, which means they cannot grasp objects with their tail. Their tail is strictly for balance. New world monkeys, like that owl monkey picture I just showed you, Actually, most of them do have a prehensile tail, which means they can swing from branch to branch using their tail. This is a biofact skull of that owl monkey that I just showed you. This new world monkey is the only nocturnal monkey, and you can tell because of those large eye sockets similar to the prosimian lemur we just saw. And the reason they have such large eyes is because they are nocturnal, which means they have to let in a lot of light so they can see at night when they're active. Gorillas are apes. Other types of apes are orangutans, chimpanzees, gibbons, and bonobos. So one really cool thing specifically about gorillas is they have a fully opposable thumb, which means they can move this freely and independently of all their other fingers. So it's really good for grabbing and swinging from branches. Gorillas are also one of the largest primate species. Now that we've talked about all of these different types of primates, why don't we go have a look inside and see what Keaton has to tell us about the chimps. Hi everyone, Keaton here at the Indoor Chimpanzee Habitat. Here at the Tulsa Zoo, we have six chimpanzees. In the wild, they're found in Central and Western Africa, typically found in the rainforest habitat, but they're also known to be found at higher elevations in the mountains, as well as in the drier regions of the savanna. And those chimpanzees that live in those drier areas have a pretty cool behavioral adaptation. Here I have chimp wadges, and these chimp wadges are dried, grass, leaves, and other vegetation that the chimpanzees chew up, dip in water, and then they'll put them inside of their cheeks. So whenever they're traveling or in an area that doesn't have much water, they have access to it through these, which act like a sponge, 
and allow them to have water. Chimpanzees also typically move on the ground. So whenever they need to move from place to place, they get on the ground and head on their way. But they also spend a lot of time in trees as well. Uh, whenever they're in those trees, they'll be eating or even sleeping or sometimes even playing. And to get up in those trees, chimpanzees have some pretty cool adaptations about them. So chimpanzee arms are 1.5 times longer than they are tall. So if we had that same ratio of arms to height, this is the size that they would be. And those long arms allow them to be able to grab things that are much farther away from them and swing on branches and help them move in those trees. <laughs> Just like Gabby mentioned about the gorillas, chimpanzees have opposable thumbs as well. So they're able to grab objects and items and branches with more power and precision. Chimpanzees also have an opposable big toe, which allows them to even better move around in those trees and grab things with their feet with almost the same power and precision as their hands would. Chimpanzees are very highly intelligent animals. Here you can see that they have a nice hanging basket full of straw, cardboard boxes, and even packing paper. And all of these items are known as enrichment. And enrichment is something added into the chimpanzee's daily life that challenge, challenges and changes every day. And since they are so highly intelligent, you can see one right here getting out all of those items like the straw and looking for the, those delicious food items inside. <laughs> and enrichment can be things as simple as packing paper or cardboard boxes. It can even be food or different scents. Um, all of the ropes and branches in here change every single day, which allows them different movements where they have to get from their favorite sitting or sleeping spot a different way. And our chimpanzee team here at the Tulsa Zoo does an amazing job of changing all their enrichment every single day. And that's because in the wild, their environment would change all the time. We hope you guys enjoyed learning more about primates and more about the chimpanzees here at the Tulsa Zoo. We hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Thank you.